What's going on guys? Rob with 3 Strong. Going to go back over the overhead squat test. The last time I went over the shoulders, what we need to do to mobilize. Uh, if we did identify any weakness, I want you What's going on guys? Rob with 3 Strong. Back with the PVC pipe doing the overhead squat test to identify any tightness or weakness we may have um, pretty much over the full body. We can pinpoint the areas that we need to work on. Last time I talked about the shoulders and the upper back. This time I'm going to talk about the hips. So when we squat down, what is it that we're looking for that will be ideal? When you squat down, you want to be sure that your butt isn't, isn't tucking under and your heels aren't elevating. So if I'm getting down and my knees are shooting forward and it's very difficult for me to get those hips back, there's a, there's a few things going on. Um, my hamstrings could be tight. My hamstrings could be limiting me going down and getting that stretch in the hamstrings to push the butt back. Another thing that could be going on is my, my lower back. My lower back doesn't have a lot of mobility. Most people don't have this issue. A lot of people can arch their lower back because they have a weakness in their abs, but sometimes people have such tight hamstrings, they get into this kind of tucked butt, flat back, rounded upper back position in this very hollow, hollow position. And it's actually very difficult for them to really stretch the hamstrings and get the lower back to, to tighten up to get down into that good overhead squat position. So if, it, so if you find that those heels are coming up, I would definitely try to do some sort of hamstring stretch to loosen up the back of your legs. That's from the side. From the front, we could find some other things going on. If I get back down into this position, I want you to look at my knees. So I'm wearing nice, bright, colorful shoes so you can easily identify where my feet are. But as I'm going down, notice how my knees are pretty much over my feet. If I show that from the side, my hips are back, my knees are pretty much over my feet. If I have a hard time keeping that alignment and those knees are bowing in, I know that now I have a weakness in my glutes. My glutes aren't firing well enough to push those knees out. So if you go down, and you find it very difficult to, to track, very difficult to push those knees out, you have just identified some sort of weakness on those, on those uh, hips. What that can also show is maybe a tightness on the inner thighs. So as you do that, do some inner thigh stretches before you go back, so you can loosen up the hamstrings, loosen up the inner thighs, and then go back and do that movement and see, man, I, I, I'm really trying hard to get those knees out. It's not that I'm feeling weak here, it's just that these inner thighs are restricting my range of motion. Could be the case there. All right? That is the hips, that overhead squat can really identify a lot of things going on. We don't want to have that weakness. We don't want to have that tightness in the hips. We want to be nice and flexible, okay? Next time, I'm going to talk about the ankles and how the ankles can have a big effect on the quality of your overhead squat and identify what the heck is going on there, all right? See you next time.